In fact, in the, in the average mouth, we might find sometimes 26 different metals in the mouth, which again, not only is a biocompatible problem with toxicities, but the electronics. This has been a fascinating field for, for us in the last 15 years. We've been doing electronic readings uh, by using a, an amp meter, uh, a more sophisticated digital amp meter. Well, if we have teeth now that have metal in their mouth that are constantly generating electricity. And by the way, our car battery is a lead pole and a zinc pole and a box of sulfuric acid, right? If we wanted to create the quintessential battery, we would use gold and silver, the cathode and the anode, the positive and the negative pole, which can create a wonderful battery. Well, we do this in the mouth. So tremendous amounts of electricity can disturb the normal flow of ionic flow in the body. So if you've got a constant flow of electricity created by the metal fillings in our, in our mouth, we can then turn off or the body says, hey, the stimulation is constant. I better do something to adapt. So it blocks instead of stimulates like the initial acupuncture needle is stimulated, but if left in there, it could cause a problem. Our teeth are those bioelectrical electrodes and I refer to them sometimes as spark plugs because they have capacity. The, the tooth, inc incidentally, the tooth is a very interesting device because it's surrounded by crystal. And the crystal, if we look at what the computer is all about, the computer has its heart in the silicone chip. It has the crystal of the silicone chip. And the analogous of the silicone chip in the computer is the enamel that covers this, this thing we call the tooth. So the, in a normal healthy tooth, the tooth has capacity to hold a charge, like the spark plug has a capacity to hold a charge. But if you put metal in that tooth, you disturb this electronic flow. And so a whole vast of things are now being looked at related to this electrical disturbance that you, that you make mention of, and rightly so.